Oh, yes, we're live. Oh, yeah, baby. We're live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's say hello to everyone then. Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the Great Awakening Generator. And once again, Chantal French is doing the live transmission on Friday morning here in Auckland, New Zealand, and all of New Zealand, of course. <laughs> so wherever you the are world. in the world. Welcome. Right. Chantal, you say something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically what we're here today, we're trying new technology again. So we're on multiple channels if you're just zoning in. Um, we've got, um, I'm, I'm going live on all my channels. At the same time, have a conversation with Rose on her channel. So um, we're having a dual conversation here. I hope everyone can hear it on my side. Um, we've also got a backup. We're on Zoom as well. So we're on Zoom. We're on two channels of YouTube, Facebook page and Twitter. So I hope everyone can hear everything. Uh, today we're all going to discuss some stuff we don't know what we're going to discuss yet we'll discuss something and at the end we'll do a, a, a group treatment or i'll do a group treatment so please 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 it's a community thing put some comments in the comments wherever you are yes. and we will get you involved in the group treatment at the end of the session the treatment will start about quarter past hopefully yes um yes. So we've got quarter of an hour chatting away while you upload all your comments and then we'll um we'll go from there right great cool Thank you. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I have something I wanted to say, and mm -hmm. I got that this morning. It's not something I usually do, but did you want? Did you have anything you wanted to say? No, no, you go for it. Okay. Yep. So I already, yeah, I already had the woo from the Gishita and uh, from your guides from the blue beans. I'm sure that they're the ones that that go woof, and you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I get yes. excited. Yeah. Okay. So I want to say something. Look, please feel free to start putting your comments in and things like that and uh, asking questions or, or requests and for, for whatever it is that you're needing. But today, uh, I've been doing this since last last night. I've been asking, what would I say here? Because, you know, Chantal seemed to have started the tradition three weeks ago when we started to say, Rose, what 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 came, well, what have you got to say or something? And so I, I will say this. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of things I was thinking about. I was thinking about the fact that I suddenly put up the Christmas tree this week. Oh, yes. I didn't nice. put up the Christmas tree at Christmas time in December and I put up the Christmas tree because I was yeah. downstairs and I saw it in the box and I thought this tree needs to be lit up. And what I'm learning from that is to be appreciative in the moment. And those moments you missed that didn't go yeah. like normal for you because life has been so volatile. If, if it occurs to you to do something, do it, do it now, do it in the moment. But I want to share something with you. Mm -hmm. This is called Uturunku. It is Uturunku. I hope I'm saying the word right. It is the ceremonial cacao paste yes. that comes from Peru. Okay. Yes. This was a blessing yeah. for me because I got it as a Mother's Day thing. Okay. Yeah. And today I was asked that we would talk about, and I'm standing up because I'm, I've got something in my hands, that we will talk about appreciation and saying thank you. Recently, somebody brought to me, am I okay? Can you hear me, Chantal? Yeah, yeah, we're all good. Okay. Yeah. Recently, somebody brought to my attention. I'm sorry, my head's slightly chopped off there, but I'm trying to move forward, further back. Somebody brought to me the, uh, I'll sit that far away. They brought to me the attention that we don't say grace anymore. We think it's mm -hmm. very religious. Yeah. But think about everything we have. And so today, I have my cacao paste in my hand, not to show off but to invite you to join me to say grace and thank you in everything and in all things. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know what's going to come out because I was trying not to do anything I usually do, but let's just see, right? So I'm going to invite you, feet on the ground, mm -hmm. close your eyes and just take a breath. In through the nose. Pushed all the way down to the belly. And then bring it up and pause slightly in the at the torso and breathe it out through the mouth. So I'll try it now. I've explained it. I'll try it now. Take two more like that. Thank you, universe. Thank you. Thank you for this drink. Bless it. Bless it to my body. Thank you for every hand that has had anything to do with 
planting this, nurturing this plant, bringing it to the stage of a tree, picking up that cacao pod when it reaches maturity, grinding it, processing it, making it into a paste, and then for everyone that has transported it into New Zealand, every organization that sells this so that I can have it, and thank you for everyone that has brought it to me. Thank you. We honor all of those people that bring that bring everything to us because remember, our food is not there just because it happened to be there. Our food is there because so many people, so many hands had something to do with it. So there we are. Thank you. I will take a sip of my cacao and I'll leave it aside and we'll carry on. <laughs> wonderful energy. It's very powerful. I mean, sorry. Very powerful. And yeah. this one in particular, this Untu in particular, I'll just tell you quickly what the, um, what the, uh, I have it open, what the properties of it are. Um, guys, I'm not advertising for anybody. Um this is a very rare and special ceremonial paste. It is handcrafted from indigenous cacao in Tarapoto, Peru. In honor of the Utur Uturunku, the jaguar, made with love and pure intention, it is blessed and provides high vibrational energy with reverence for Peru's ancient ceremonial cacao traditions from the, cult from the cultural and spiritual origin of cacao, um, Peru. It's so basically when you uh, this is recommended because it, it it's involved it, it helps you release trauma, brings you into meditative space, creates connection and awakening, and bring and use use daily it assists you with feeling present, improving your mental health, providing mental connection and mind body spirit balance. Mm -hmm. okay. Definitely, it's, um, energetically wise, feeling into it. It's because I've never experienced it before. Um, yeah. It's really, it's straight to the heart. It's really straight in the heart, heart center. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you can feel the heart center. Um, mm. It's really powerful. It's like expanding energy. It's beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely very, beautiful. Very beautiful. And also what I experienced the first time I had it um, was I felt like my chakra column was was vibrating yeah. when I had it the first time because it aligned. Yeah. It was obviously aligning the chakra column. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, it's definitely nice and calming. So chakras, if anyone knows, those are our um, energy centers or vortexes that run down the central line of the body. We've actually got thousands of them, but the main chakras run down the center. Um, yes. And when they get out of kilter every now and then, so um, we do align them quite regularly. Um, so we yeah. might do that today, actually. We might yeah. put that into the healing. And, and just, just a few tips in terms of your chakras. So normally um, your chakra, every day meditation is one of the first tips to balancing your chakra on your own. Okay, we come, we, we come together and we do sessions with, with what Chantal does um, and, and that's like alignment of it. And it's always good to have alignment, alignment of the chakra column. But when you do meditation on your own, you're still doing it into some level, right? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. for many years, we've been talking about the seven chakras because those were the ones, the main ones we talked about in the body since 2012. It is now the 12 alignments of 12 chakras, yeah. all right? The ones that are above you, the ones that are below you, and there's two or three more in the body that are being acknowledged since 2012. Find out more about that because it's very good to understand the chakra, uh, the chakra, um, column and whatever's happening with it in terms of balancing hmm. Hmm. yeah the chakras are, are amazing they're also associated with colors um yes. so each chakra has its own frequency um they're like yeah. a vortex of energy they're their own, and their own color system so you quite often see colors and they eventually make up part of the colors of their aura so if one of the chakras is out it shows up in your aura if you have an aura photo done you can right. actually see different chakras or some people are lucky enough to see the chakras so um or the colors of the aura so yeah, they're very, very fundamental. They're fundamental energetic system. So um, they are fundamental for us to keep us grounded and also keep us connected to the higher realms uh, at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. So, have we got any comments? Any more comments coming through? Got... Um, I, I see uh, the, there isn't any, but please feel free to join us uh, to to add comments here yeah, and make requests. Everybody, um, it will be great. Um, to have your requests for anything you want, healing and all of that. Um, Chantel, I've got to ask you, I know that we, we've got a few more minutes. Um, yep. How is, how is your, oh, ooh, sorry, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. <laughs> that was. Uh, sorry about that, yeah. 
I was checking on something and suddenly I started to I hear my voice because it's coming through on the YouTube channel there. I'll just turn it <laughs> off. Uh, yeah, you know, technologically challenge rose, eh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're fun. Yeah, yeah, we're family. Fun. Yeah, I'll say yeah. that because we're, we'll say we're family here or we, yeah. we're good friends. Um, what about you? How's your week? How's everything going in your oh, week? So my theme this week um, was started off the week with a bit of chaos, um, a lot of emotional this week. Um, yes. Especially for me um, with work and stuff. So very emotional. Um, and then I just learned, um, I was like, what's, what's, what's the theme this week? Um, what's the theme been happening over the last couple of weeks? And we talked about chaos. So me and Rice have been in chaos trying to sort technology out. Um, but overall, it's all about um, chaos as well. So um, just getting notices just keep popping up. I hope they're not coming up on the video feed. They're not coming up in, in Zoom, I'm sorry. Otherwise, yeah. I would say something. Yeah, so that's all good. So they keep popping up. Just put on. See, chaos. It's all chaos at the moment. So, <laughs> chaos. so basically, I was like, what are we working on? And now it's like, well, for me at the moment, it's unsure. I'm unsure about things, how we're going, um, where things are going, where the world's going. Everybody's on this unsure sort of thing. So I actually listened to an alchemy this morning, an emotional alchemy, um, and it took me from an insurance to um, acceptance and leadership, accepting leadership. So it was a really amazing alchemy. Um, and basically an alchemy is, or energetic alchemy, is taking those emotions, so that, that funny um, unsure energy and taking it into um, into something more empowering, more enlightening um, frequency. So, uh, yeah, so it was amazing to go from that and go through the different stages and to come out and like, hey, yes, there's chaos around, but out of chaos, there's always creativity that goes on. Yes. And then at the end, there is a change. So it feels like chaos, but creates creativity. And then the end result is absolutely something amazing that you wouldn't even thought of. So, yes. yes Please accept that. If there's chaos, that's cool. Just bring it on in and just think outside the squares because something amazing could yeah. be the end result of it. So that's been my theme this week. So um, oh, even yeah. at work, I've had to post think about that. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Energetically wise, working on people, it's been a bit, but everyone's a bit chaos or a bit lost or unsure at the moment. They're all a bit yeah. lost. So, yeah. So, so I'll that's say my theme some... this week. Sorry. <laughs> I'll say something to what you just said and we've got a couple of minutes. Um this must be something different for you because you're we are normally a very well organized calm cool collective person always in charge always yeah. everything under control and not not control under uh, everything all the i's dotted all the t's <laughs> crossed right that's yeah. you yeah now i've been speaking to other people who do what you do because you know i have interactions on one to one level with them and a lot of people are going through this and mm -hmm. uh, you're right, something good's going to come out of the chaos because yeah. you are being fashioned, refashioned, retrained for something better and different from you. And you've had really good, but it's going to be so much more better. And that is for all of us. And I think whilst there's chaos, we've never had chaos like this before. We've never as a collective experienced chaos as is right now. Yeah. And I think we must be easy with ourselves. And I say that, I say it as in a comment to you, but I also say it, this is for everybody who's watching it, who watches it now, who's going to watch it in the future. Trust the process, trust mm -hmm. the process. I I understand what you're saying, Chantal. I had similar things happening, but um, I have lost control of things ages ago. My control was gone. <laughs> and, yeah. and I am navigating how to be out, out of control and and still live my life and and go where no where I this person has not gone before this being has not gone before consciously gone before, so we trust the process and I have to tell myself that too. <laughs> yeah, and then it's just one step at a time, you know. Just take a little pebble at a time, you know. Yeah. Um, you'll actually create the pathway and get there eventually. So, all overwhelmment or anything like that, just remember, just sink into it. Just what can I what can I do? Simple, something simple, um, like taking um wow moments you know observing around you and look at the beautiful environment what's wow today and just have that energy come through to you and that's yes. another stepping point just to lift your energy yes. um yeah so that's me i'm trying to be present as well so it's all about being present and, and be aware of your surroundings look i'm on a beautiful surrounding at the moment beach right next door look, sun's out um so beautiful sunrise um so welcome those moments and be in the awe of them because it's such an amazing energy um, to lift you and and 
come up with new solutions and be creativity and you know, be present at the same time instead of this chaotic mind that we all are in. So yes, because of our crazy lives. <laughs> So um, just want to say, Vic, so there's a lot of comments. Obviously, you're getting I can't see. Um, yeah. So I guess you will bring in all of those comments, even though you may not be able to see it, all those requests for healing, for whatever for healing, you bring that into fine. it. Okay, I'm just great. pulling all those in. Um, we've got some coming through, so we'll just put those into the, what we call the, the soup, the energetic soup, um, feel into what everybody needs um, today. So we've got a couple of there that are, uh, um, tummy bugs all around the lower it seems to be all around the lower center um we call them centers i call them centers you got your head you got your middle and your and your lower center so lower center seems to be an issue at the moment for a lot mm. of people so either like back pains or stomach aches um large intestine so holding on our emotions is all below the daimai um so um bringing those emotions up so um if you oh. end up by moving some of these emotions today and you end up on the toilet it's perfectly okay you're letting go of stuff so <laughs> don't worry about it <laughs> um so yeah so we'll just work on that maybe and then aligning those chakras so everybody can do nice and center since we talked about right. them and be present okay so i'm just going to start with just some um basic chi sensations so we get everybody going get the mo momentum going energy moving so i'm just going to ask um pengu who's my qigong master basically um to provide some energy so i'm just going to act as a channel if anyone doesn't know know how i work i just act as a channel for any beings or any energy that want to use me um to you so basically i'm talking through the universe goes through me to you um and for anything that your body needs okay so just request it and i will be the conduit um from the morphic field or the information field or the universal field what do you want to call it the quantum field it will come through me to you and I'll also put some life force in there. So I'm just going to start with the basics to start, just to start with, just get the momentum going. So same the password for Pangu Shigong, which is a open up the open me up to receive information and energy from the universe or source, light or source, if you want to call it. So take kindness and benevolence as basis. Take frankness and friendliness to heart. Speak with reason, treat with courtesy, act with emotion, and accomplish results. Just to say that again, take kindness and benevolence as basis, take frankness and friendliness to hand. Speak with reason, treat with courtesy, act with emotion, and accomplish results. So you may feel the chi sensations, you may not, that's perfectly fine. Just a bit of grounding, so um, this helps with being um, unorganized or chaos. Just envision that your feet are in the ground like tree roots, or we're bringing our energy down our center line through our all our chakras, down into our earth star, which is one of the 12 chakras, one of the new ones. So down through that, taking the energy through there, down into our incarnation point on earth, okay? So basically going from the top, of the top chakra, so the crown, the third eye, the throat, the heart chakras, down to the solar plex, the navel, the root chakra, which is um, by the pelvic area, and then down into our earth chakra, so sending that energy right down. You should feel nice and heavy in the legs, so your feet are like in the ground, literally, um, and then down onto our in incarnation point. And they're just connecting us to Mother Earth. So it just allows all the negative energy just to flow through us down into Mother Earth. Um, she's an amazing energy transformation, transformer. So she'll transform any negative energy and bring that through um, and, and allow things to grow. So she transforms negative energy and turns it into positive energy for life. Okay, so we're just going to bring some of that energy up from her. So bring that up through you your earth star, your bottom of your feet, up to the, the root chakra, navel chakra, so bringing the energy up, solar plex and the heart, throat, third eye, and the crown. And then just allow the energy to flow over top of you, okay? Just allow it to come up and just flow over and then outwards, okay? So out into your aura. So your aura is... Um, it's about as wide as 
as your hands and as tall and deep as as your body with your arms up and down. So just allow the energy to flow into that aura um, and just empowering it. At the same time, I'm going to be calling in source light, so source energy coming through the top of the crown, coming right down to our like heart chakra and then spreading out from the heart tra- chakra into your aura. Okay, so you get the connection of both. So you're connected to source and also earth. Okay, so just allow that light to come in. Normally I visual white light. Sometimes it might be pink light. Just allow that light to come in. It might be other different lights. So just allow that in and then and then out. Okay, so we've just charged ourselves, grounded ourselves, centered ourselves. Okay, so this nice connection there. And then we're going to work on chakras since we spoke about them and that's saying yes 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 work on chakras okay so let's go through the chakras i'm going to feel the chakras and then we'll just realign them as we go down for everybody so starting at the top of the crown chakra i'm just going to hold that space and let's just do some clearing on that just because we can and we'll just we'll clear all the main seven ones and then we'll just realign them so we're clearing that one there. I'm just going to be using some blue ray shushing sound. So hopefully the mics don't cut out. Um, yeah. So shh, shh, shh. Rose will tell me if they cut out. Shh, 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 shh. Actually feels all right. We'll just charge it up. Whatever I um, dissolve energetically wise using Blu ray, I like to charge it and pull it up. What we've left. So, Blu ray charge, overlaying with Pangu. So, taking kindness, benevolence, as faces, taking frankness and friendliness to the heart. Speak with reason, treat with courtesy, act with emotion and accomplish. Result. So that should have opened up your crown connection with the source love. Okay, so coming down to the next one, which is our third eye. So this is for like um, intuition, sight. Going through there. Normally through the, you can feel it in the forehead. Good. And you normally get the visions through this one. So we'll just clear that one. Again with the blue, blue ray, we'll call blue ray in. They love, they love doing this, by the way. So <laughs> if you can see them, please let me know. You're there hanging around. Um, so Blu-ray, I'm just going to charge. It just wants me to charge this time. So just charging that one. Blu-ray charge. And we'll layer it with Pangu. Just for, for the life force in there. Take kindness and benevolence as basis. Take frankness and friendliness to heart. Speak with reason, treat with courtesy, act with emotion, and accomplish results. Okay, now, now moving to our third chakra, which is a throat, which is where expression, communication, expression, telling the truth. Okay, those. So if you feel like you've got a hum in your throat, it's probably because you're not holding or allowing communication to come through. Okay, you're holding stuff in, so let it out. So that all that energy out. Just basically, my hands are just taken over, so it just wants to expand the energy of everybody. Feels good. Okay, that one feels good. It's moving down into our heart chakra. Now these chakras go from in, um, both sides of the body, front and back. So. Um, Make sure you envision the back one as well. So they come out of the torso. So the heart one's in here, it's spreading out like a vortex. And same at the back. Okay, so imagine that one. So a heart one, you might see the color here green. Okay, so if I go to the colors at the top, uh, third eyes, well, the top one's white, third eyes purple, the throat is blue. This one's green. Okay, so you might see some green color. Okay, and we're just going to put some charge into that one as well. So if we go charge onto the green. So if you see green, that you're definitely in the right spot. And occasionally if you have the upper chakra, upper heart chakra, which is uh, one of the 12, that's the emotion. You might see some pink coming through. So it's a double, double chakra. Oh yeah. 
Give it some charge. Yeah. Cool, we're now going down to our solar plex. So just underneath the, where the ribs are, joining about there. And this one's a yellow color, okay? So this is all about centering. This one um, affects like the organs of spleen, okay? Um, and centering of the body. So just putting some energy into that and expanding the energy out with the color yellow. I am centered is the, is the theme for this chakra. So going, make sure you're going forward and backwards with this one as I am just channeling pure energy, just wants me to channel energy. Spirit, so I'm going to channel energy into that point. And this affects all those sort of midline organs, particularly the spilling is in there. So there's a centering. Okay, then we're moving down to the navel. So around the navel, just above the navel. And this color is the orange color. So you might see some orange coming in there or put some orange in there. Okay, some of them just want the color. So if you're using crystals, these are a great time to use your crystal, the different colors of your crystals for the different chakras, just to help amplify them and give them some energy. Again, just golden hands on this one. Just want me to pour energy into that. Cool. And now down into our roots. So <clears throat> basically the root chakra is right at the bottom of the pelvic floor, basically the reproductive system. So this is the color red. So making sure you put some color, the red frequency in there. And this one, yeah, they want blue ray on this one. So let's do some blue ray um, clearing on the root. So Just charging that one up with blue rays again. Okay, so hopefully we've that's the seven chakras. I'll just go down them again to make sure we've got them all. And I'm just aligning them as I go. So pulling light down. So source love down the crown, third eye, the throat, the heart. The heart needs some more there. I see me leaning in, so <laughs> we'll just. Add some more there. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's cool. Moving down. Solar plex is okay. And the navel. Again, the navel needs some more. So this is just putting some energy into there as well. The navel. This is probably why we've got sore backs and lowy tummy area issues at the moment. Anxiety, all that sort of stuff has to do with the navel, all the organs there, and then going on into our root. Okay, so we've just pulled and source love light for that. And now we're going to pull up from Mother Earth, going to up to the root. So coming through your feet, up to the root, the navel, the solar plex, the heart, the throat, the third eye. And the crown and over. Okay. Should nicely align all those. I feel a lot better. Oh my god. Feels good. How are you feeling, Rose? She's yawning. Yay! <laughs> oh yes. Uh thank you. Wow. A lot of energy today, eh? A lot of energy. Yeah. 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 And so. and I I, well, I I had meant to say earlier, like because of the requests we got for like tummy and and lower back think about the chakra that's aligned to that um, pain so yeah you know that if you that will also help you to release pain oh, but I feel really sleepy and my legs were quite tingly and heavy Yay. Um, and I before you said about the crystal I, t I took this crystal the um, I was given this as a gift by my from my daughter this is yeah. like a, this is the smoky quartz which is a grounding crystal and yes been, it's been in my space a lot this this crystal even i did another session with somebody else before we went online this is the crystal i was asked to to bring into it and so wow 
And so, uh, yeah, and I just want to say, if you hear, if you see my mouth, my lips moving, it's because I am, I am, pr when, when Chantal is doing what she's doing, I feel prompted to do my, la my light language because I'm yeah. speaking to the guides. I, I don't know this is, this happens. If you do light language, you'll understand it. Yeah. So light language is amazing. It's, um, yeah, it's a great communication tool. Um, and I find with my, because I, I, I've got an essence that seems to amplify others' gifts. Um, maybe, right. probably because I do so much Qigong a day it seems to amplify whoever I, I'm around so if you feel like you want to do light language if you feel like you can see more you can feel, just go with the flow use the energy yeah. that I'm providing and just yeah. go yeah. with it yeah definitely yeah, yeah. that's what I'm here for amplify that's, everybody else. <laughs> that's right Kishita that's the realm the angelic realm Chantal yes Kishita I think yep I think you come yeah. from that uh, angelic realm. So, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah the sheep is one of my guides or gatekeepers. Yeah. So, um, they provide us a lot of wisdom and, and energy. Yeah. Um, they're amazing. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. One of the great pictures. One of my great pictures. So, yeah. Great. And they'll come in. They'll come up. So, people see them and they come in there. Yeah. They'll come I haven't in. yet. I've felt them. I haven't seen them yet. Yeah. I've felt yeah. them. And I feel that before you even start. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, but it's nice. I love it. I do love yeah. it. It says that source, is, source, God, the universe, for want of yeah. the, you know, has got so much love and so much, intent, you know, so much time and, and space for us and loves us so much. And look at what a creative way that we can communicate and we can have this experience right now that we're evolving and transforming through. Yeah. Um, yeah. So last week I didn't do much for the rest of the day after our session. Oh. I warn everybody in advance, if you feel like you don't want to do anything for the rest of the day, take the day off. <laughs> I, I enjoy the sunshine. So Go enjoy it. Um, yeah, if you have any issues, please contact me. Um, uh, there, people do have healing reactions with me, which is quite common, and I celebrate them because that means we've got movement. So if you start feeling um, headachey or fluey or really lethargic, um, that's all normal, okay, especially after healing, uh, a decent healing session. Um, it's completely normal. It means we've got movement in the inner body is, is moving things. So please contact me if you have any symptoms like that. I'm doing Qigong throughout the day, so I will boost you with some extra energy to help you get oh. through that, help you get through that sort of lethargic stage. It lasts for one or two days if you really have a big session. So we want to get you through that. You don't want to stop it. Um, we want to get you through it because if you do stop it it means the body's got to go through it again so mm. at some stage yeah. it's just the body testing itself it's calling a healing cure so yeah please if you end up having you know feeling really lethargic please contact me and i'll add you into my check on practice um just to help you get through that little little wow. stuff and i'll celebrate it and you'll be like oh my god i feel like absolute crap i'm like yeah <laughs> fantastic <laughs> Well, Chantal, you're so generous. Thank you so much. Thank you for your no time. Worries. Thank you. I know that you're such a busy lady. You've got so many responsibilities, but you just take this time to give to us. And I appreciate you. And uh, this is the other thing we have to say thank you to the universe for. Thank you for the generosity and love and care of people like of Chantal and people like her. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank, so, you. thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, all our guides and our guardians. And thank you. For everybody Everyone. else, making bowl. this a reality, and look at us today. We've been live on YouTube via the Great yeah. Awakening Generator because Chantel had no problems going live. It was me doing <laughs> technology stuff on my end that I just didn't click initially. But hey, you know what? I've become empowered today with what with this happening. So yes. thank you so much for creating the opportunity for my empowerment. No, that was amazing. So um, yeah, definitely we'll be here next week be on here another topic. Week. We've got the techno sorted, we hope. So back into some nitty gritty stuff. <laughs> Great. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you, so you much. everyone. Catch you next time. Namaste. Thank everybody. you. Great. Namaste. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.